Mm. Hey, what do you want me to say? <laughs> what, do you, what do you want me to say? I'm still confident, but I mean, what do you, I what want do you, you to say? You were roo, 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 wrong. I, I'm a Mets fan. It happens every year. I should know better. Well, welcome everybody in to The Bachelor Met. This is a place where Rich's two worlds collide. We've got The Bachelor and we've got The Mets. Now, we know that you're a long life Mets fan. That and is true. There is a vacancy when it comes to the yeah. manager position of the Mets. Now, this is as close as I'm ever gonna be to Chris Harrison, being Chris Harrison, and this is as close as you're ever gonna be to being The Bachelor. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Hate to break it too. But All right. instead of roses, I'm giving out a ball. Yes, you're giving okay. out a ball. Small We've got some contestants for okay. you, so are you ready for the first contestant? Ready. Bring it on. Okay, I love this movie. I've, wait I've waited for this my whole life. <laughs> okay, Are they Here coming out of the limo or, or no? no? No, they're not coming out of the limo. We've got the first contestant. It is Eduardo. Perez. Now, let me give you some pros and cons. Pros, he's an ESPN Sirius XM friend. Okay. Friend of the family. He was already interviewed for the job. Now, here's some cons. He has followed in the footsteps of Alex Cora because he coached for the Astros, worked for ESPN, and he's never played for the Mets. What do we think about Eduardo? Eduardo Perez. Now, I know that the Mets are talking to him, right? So you got to think to yourself, does he want to be the guy that was passed over the first time no, the Ed fans don't want him, Rich. The fans want a former Met. You know that no. as a Met fan. Eduardo, I, but then again, you are pops, possibly the most qualified guy for the job. Everyone loves Eduardo Perez on and off the field. He's dealt with the New York media. He just signed an ESPN contract. They though. love him, but he's able to get out of that oh, okay. if he gets a coaching job. Um, he hasn't coached anything since 2013. In Vegas, he's the, he's the betting favorite to become the Mets' next manager now right. that Carlos Beltran is out. But the Mets have not contacted him yet. Uh, you know what? Eduardo, hang tight. Who else do we have? Give me another contestant. All right, the second contestant is Bobby Bonilla. He's already on the payroll. That is true. He, um, they have a Bobby Bonilla day. It's a home game, July 1st versus the Giants. Now here's some cons. He has no managerial experience. He's the second lowest paid Met in the current payroll. What do we think about Bobby Bonilla? He managed his contract pretty well. Uh, yeah, you know what? Maybe they could do a promotional day of Bobby Bo. They could do like hanging earring day or sweet mustache day. Bobby Bo, uh, no one's worn number 25 on the Mets in a long time now since I believe like 2011. So maybe they're overdue. Bobby Bo? I think they were paying Beltran, what, three million a year? So they'd have to come up with another two to make it happen. Yeah, Bobby Bo, huh? I don't know. I did love you for a minute, but you were better as a pirate than as a Met. I don't know. I have some more choices for you, though, if, if, if you're not sold on Bobby. I don't know if he gets the, my final ball. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what else Yikes. do we have? Okay. Third contestant yeah. is Luis Rojas. Okay. Now, here are his pros. He managed Tim Tebow in AA. I don't okay. Know, uh, double A's. Double I A. I don't know if that's, if that's a crazy thing. I don't think he was in AA. <laughs> double A. <laughs> that's how rumors get started. Okay. He's been with the Mets since 2007. Cons. He's been with the Mets since 2007 <laughs> and never played in the majors. Well, you know what? Luis Rojas. Here's the pro of Luis Rojas. I'm, I'm, leaning, I'm leaning towards you a little bit, Luis, because, well, you know who Luis Rojas has coached when they were in the minor leagues? Pete Alonso, Jeff McNeil, Michael Conforto, all the Mets' young players were coached by you, Luis, early and he's on. A young guy. He's only 38, and, and he, even though he wasn't in the pros, he's the son of Felipe Alou. The brother of Moises Salud. That is true. Oh right, my so goodness. baseball's in his blood, Rich. All right. But a big con, you have to look at those ears all the time. Yeah, that is true. I don't know if I want to look at that. <laughs> all right, can, can I have one more, Rich? Okay, you get one okay. more. All right, the fourth contestant is Davey Johnson. Now the pros. Last Mets manager to win a World Series, and he has a killer stash. All right, that goes somewhere. That means he's big with the ladies. Now the cons. He hasn't said, or he hasn't, he said he wouldn't last a month managing today. Yeah. And he doesn't have that stash anymore. Yeah. Davey Johnson, I thought he was 173 years old. However, Davey, you were the manager when I was a kid. Davey Johnson represents every Met fan's childhood. The last time there was there was a banner being raised in Flushing, Queens. Yeah. Davey, get the mustache back. But you know what? If he was able to manage, the guys on the 86 Mets that were doing drugs and bringing women on the on the team plane and doing you, you, have you ever read the book The Bad Guys Won? Davey can handle a couple of young guys dealing with social media now. So 
You know what, Davey, stand by. No, 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 don't stand by. It's already a slow-moving game. Can you imagine him going to the mound? It would take three hours. <laughs> I mean, he hasn't coached in seven years. He's old. Let him be an old guy. You know what, Davey? Feed the ducks. You're not going to get my final ball. I'm sorry. Okay, so you've been given four contestants. Okay. You have one ball. Well, can uh -huh. I tell you something? You want to narrow it down to just two? Don't pick Eduardo Perez. He's cursed. What do you mean? Why? Because he was the bench coach for the Astros okay. in 2013. That's the last time he coached. He's jinxed well, as gonna, a coach. I'm going to look at it this way. Yeah. Davey Johnson, I'm going to take uh, – he's not getting a rose. He's way old. I love him. I love the staff. I remember him slamming his back against the dugout wall thinking the Mets were going to lose yeah. game six. Just admit that all of them are terrible options. Just admit it. Uh, Luis Rojas, he, but you know what? He coached all those guys when they were in the minors. We need new blood. Uh, no Bobby Bo. You know what I think? What do you think? I think moving forward, this guy has the best chance to take the next promised land. This guy is loved by the media. He's in fact, he's been in the media. Eduardo Perez, you get my final ball. Wow. He seems very excited about it. <laughs> Eduardo, you know what? You look, a little like, uh, you look a little bit like uh, President Obama in your headshot there. I like it. Wow, so he's the, the new coach for the Mets? Yeah, you know wow. what? He's the Vegas favorite. I think if you, uh, I know you love that I gamble on anything. Right. He is the, he is the Vegas favorite right now. Wow, so but we lose him here at ESPN and yeah. you get him the Mets now gain him. as a Mets manager.